Okay. Hi, my name is Chanel Carlin, and I would like to welcome you to Weddings in the Okanagan. I am so excited today to um, introduce Paula Kristen. Um, Paula is, uh, among many things, and she's just an amazing artist, but she paints live paintings at weddings. So I just wanted to introduce her to you um, and then have her really introduce herself. So Paula, thank you so much for being here and be willing to spend time your Saturday this morning. Um, if you would be willing to share a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself, introduce your business, and tell us what live painting looks like. Sure, happy to. Thanks, Chanel, for having me today. Um, I am Paula Kristen, a watercolor artist, and I have been doing watercolor now for well, probably on 30 years. Um, my major in college was art, uh, and it's been my pleasure to recently add events and weddings to my my roster of things that that I do and my my business is Paula Kristen watercolors the art of mountain living so as you might imagine most of my my paintings and the weddings are are outdoor events which beautifully mesh together mm -hmm. so it's it's allowing me to uh, continue on with with what I love to do and just add in this beautiful element of, of weddings and being on site and giving peace, people a wonderful slice of the moment that I interpret through my paints. That's fabulous. I, I love it. When I first saw, as I told you before, when I first saw that you were doing live paintings, I thought, oh my goodness, weddings in the Okanagan has to be, has to be part of this. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what does it actually look like at a wedding um, to do a live painting and how long does one take? Well, I, um, I've discussed with a couple beforehand what their vision is and if, uh, if possible, we've met together on the site, sort of get an idea of, of what they want to see in that painting. Um, I arrive a couple hours before the event starts and I set up and it's a, it's a fairly compact setup. It takes about four to six, you know, feet there. I bring a table and an easel that I set up, get everything ready. And I'll probably do um, some sketching on site of what they want and then wait for the event to happen if I'm adding in the bride and the groom, the parents or whoever they want in there. And so as I'm off to one side, so I'm not, you know, in their way, but people can approach me and talk about what I'm doing after the ceremony and, and come and watch this thing evolve. And so I'm really happy to, to talk with people about painting and everybody loves to tell me about their aunt or their grandmother or grandfather who used to paint. It's so wonderful. I never knew there were so many painters out there. <laughs> but it's a lot, um, it's just a wonderful party and I get to, um, I get to be part of this beautiful thing that's happening. Um, and usually by the time that they're they're going, you know, inside uh, to the champagne toast or have their sit down dinner, I'm kind of wrapping things up. The painting is not complete yet. There's maybe some details that need to be finished, but people have a really good idea of what this is going to look like. So then I'll just um, wrap up my little show and take the work back to the studio, put in those final details. And then if the uh, the client wants, framing or um, anything special, I'll add that before it's shipped or, or picked up. Okay, okay. I was wondering if they actually, if you finished the whole thing on site or if you took it back to the studio to finish. And so that's actually really, that's really interesting. That's really helpful. And, and just, I think maybe adds that little element of surprise. They know what's happening. They know what's coming, but then they get this gift in the mail. Yeah, yeah, they, um, it's, it's like it's signed, it's matted and, and framed, and it's a beautiful presentation. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I include gift cards with it so they can send thank you notes out that show that painting on there. So mm -hmm. they can share it with their friends who maybe didn't get the chance yet to see it as a finished product. Wow, that's awesome. Thank I, you. I am so excited. Thank you, thank you for it's sharing. Fun. I can't <laughs> wait to see them. <laughs> so what do you, well, first of all, how did you get started doing weddings? I mean, it's one thing to do events and weddings, but you started doing a wedding somehow, so. I did, yeah. It was, um, I got a request from one of the lodges in the valley here that had a guest. They, were, they wanted to get married there, mm -hmm. and they said, we like the work of the artist who's showing her, her paintings in the dining room and in the foyer. So would you contact her and see if she would be interested? So I got this, 
this phone call. I said, you know, would you like to paint a wedding? And it's kind of like, what? <laughs> you are <a> what? <laughs> I had never heard this. Mm -hmm. I had never heard of anybody having a live painter at a wedding. Mm -hmm. And so um, it, my goal that year was to say yes to more things that I probably would have said, yeah, no. <laughs> so I just said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And in the back of my head, I said, I'll figure it out and go along. <laughs> we'll wing it. <laughs> we'll wing it. No, and it was just, um, I know that I, I painted, you know, in front of audiences before as I teach, um, you know, and if you're outdoors and you're painting, mm -hmm. inevitably somebody will come along and, you know, want to know what you're doing. But this was, this was, this was somebody's really big moment. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, that's probably the part that made me nervous was like, I'm being a wedding. Out. Yeah, uh, this is a once in a lifetime slice of the day kind of thing and it's like you really want to get it right so right the morning um of the wedding after you know i'd met with a couple in the morning of the wedding i just kept telling myself i am the best painter there i am the best painter at that wedding because <laughs> so, i was the only painter at the wedding but it, it turned out beautifully it was such a great experience i said to myself you know what i really want to do this a mm -hmm. lot Mm -hmm. So I just, um, I made myself available. I just added that to my roster and to my website and sent out announcements and said, Hey, do you know of anybody that's getting married? Um, and I will travel. So let's, let's see if they'd like a live painter at their, at their event. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I love that. And I love that there was, you know, that they just happened to see some of your work at, at the resort and at the lodge and, they said, you know, would this, would this person come? <laughs> you know, it's just, I, I love that couples were thinking outside the box and that you were willing to go with it. That's awesome. Yeah, I did a little research. Um, it seems like it's it's been a trend that's been happening on the East Coast and it's slowly making its way West. Okay. And so I just happened to to catch the wave, as they say. That's, it's fabulous, it's fabulous. Um, I love that story. Now, what do you like most about doing weddings? Because weddings are different. You know, they're, they can be more stressful for folks, but you know, they don't have to be. Just, but they're a different kind of event. The, um, the wedding is such a special, a special event. Um, it's the best of parties. Um, they've got all their close friends, their family. Everybody is there to watch the joining of, of these two people. Um, and two families, and you you get to you get to be a part of this. You get to to help celebrate, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful, upbeat, um, cheery place to be. And mm -hmm. it's um, it's the best of cocktail parties, and people just wander in and have little snippets of conversation with you. And you, in a sense, you get to know the couple not only through meeting with them but you get to know them through talking with their family and their friends mm -hmm. and it's just nice to 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 be a part of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think weddings are such happy days i i truly truly can't imagine a better type of work than helping people celebrate their marriage yeah that's awesome yeah it's been it's been wonderful um the people have been have been great uh and uh yeah, you even, sometimes you even get to meet their dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their yeah. dogs, their kids, their aunts, their uncles, their grandparents, mm -hmm. their moms and dads, that crazy uncle from around the corner or from across the country. And, yeah. and the four-year-old niece that really is determined she's going to help you paint. That's right. <laughs> Until she That's doesn't want like anymore. No, you can't touch that. <laughs> Part of the detail. Sometimes you have to take things out of the painting. Yes. <laughs> a little over it. <laughs> so we both live in an amazing place yeah. called the Okanagan, yeah. and it's a, we live in different parts of the Okanagan, which look very different from one another. I don't think that most people realize just how vast Okanagan County and the region is. You know, stretching all the way into Canada. Yeah. Um, but what do you love most about living and working in the Okanagan? Oh my gosh, that's a really long list. Um, <laughs> I know, that's why I said most. <laughs> uh, I have been here since um, the mid 70s. And what I've loved about this area is the 
the versatility of the people. Um, it's not, um, not everybody does one job all, all throughout the year. It's, it's sometimes they juggle two or three jobs. Um, and the landscape here is, it, there's such a variety. You have the, the dry kind of deserty, um, you know, steps. You have the Columbia River running through, and then you, you arch your way up into the vineyards and the farmlands and the ranches. And then beyond that, you have these really craggy mountains, part of the Pesatan wilderness that, you know, covered with snow. So there's such a variety here. And for me as a painter, that's just, that's just gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, whatever you want, you can find here. And the people who live here, um, they're this wonderful mix of people who have deep family roots from generations of being in the Okanagan. Mm -hmm. And then over the last 30, 40 years, you've had this influx from so many other places. And the mix has added this, um, this wonderful patina to the mm -hmm. area. Every, everybody has brought something special with them. And so that's, that's, been, that's been an interesting way to live. Because in a lot of rural areas, there's not a, uh, not a lot of influx of, of different things coming in. And so mm -hmm. it's allowed us um, a little more excitement, a little more, a little more versatility in how we do business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I agree. I think there's a richness that comes from the yeah. influx of people yeah. and the diversity of uh, and the diversity of cultures that we have here, um, yeah. the diversity of landscapes, uh, the mountains, the desert, the the river. I I, I completely agree with you. Thank yeah. you. I didn't realize you'd been here since the '70s. I uh, I've not, I've only been here for a much shorter time. <laughs> I know. I love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it amazes me. It's like, oh my gosh, I've been here how long? Jeez. I know, yeah. and it must have changed a lot. Yes and no. Um, it, I, there's been so many more people that have wanted to live here and that have moved here over those years, um, but they haven't broadened out the city limits so much. They've always wanted to be tucked away uh, at the foothills or in the mountains somewhere. So there are more people, but then again, their impact has been not as much as you would think. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But we've had some wonderful things come in, you know, dinner theaters and um, you know, a lot more for me, a lot more galleries, a lot more opportunities to uh, show as an artist. So when I got here, that was a pretty barren landscape. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot. Yeah. But over the past um, 30, 40 years, that's grown considerably. And so for me, that's, that's been wonderful. That's fabulous. You're just in the right spot. Yes. Brilliant. Place and time or everything. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, is there anything now that, since we've been chatting for a little bit, that I have forgotten to ask you or that you would just like to share about your life, your work, um, anything? Let's see. Um, I think people, um, they want to know, um, you know, how does the process start? How do you begin? Mm -hmm. And really it's, it's a simple conversation or an email. I just, um, need to talk with you or we can meet on site you can you can tell me what you'd like to have in this this painting and i will to the best of my ability make that happen for you and as one couple who um, they were from new york and they flew to washington state they wanted this beautiful painting done with a rainier in the background sunny day did not happen for them <laughs> but it, it happened in the painting because i got there the day before i took some photographs of when the sun was out so I was able to give them the moment that they wanted. I mean, all the guests and everything. Give them a there. beautiful sunny day for their wedding, even though I, it wasn't. <laughs> I made it happen. <laughs> the magic of being the artist. Yeah. So they, I mean, it was, it was not the truth of the moment, but it was the truth of their vision. So that's of their dream. And really, okay. so yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. We make magic. That's right. We create a, we create a dream on a special day and make sure that it happens, whatever it looks like. It's our superpowers. <laughs> it's, it's a good one, really. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so people just, um, we'll just have a conversation and we start from there. That's fabulous. And you're very welcoming and you're very, um, you're very easy to talk to. So I imagine that couples quickly relax and are able to share their dreams and 
um, make yeah. it so that you can then create something that that really looks like their dream. Exactly. It's um, we're we're you know we live in a rural area. We like it easy, so we try and make it very easy for people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing has to be hard. Nothing has to be hard. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, Paula, it's so wonderful to talk with you. Thank you for for taking the time to chat and. Oh, Chanel, my pleasure. Yeah. And share your, share your story so now we can share it with the rest of the world. All right.